Ciao everyone, it's Alyssa coming at you with another slow fashion video. This week, uh, a little bit more casual vlog style for this one because I am challenging myself to wear only secondhand clothing this week. And this is a part of the uh, secondhand September hashtag that you've seen going around. This was launched by uh, Oxfam Great Britain just as a way to raise awareness of the benefits of secondhand shopping for the environment and for circular fashion, which is a great way to reduce your carbon footprint. It just means not using virgin resources to create new clothes and really using what we have uh, as a whole in society. Like there's already so many clothes on the planet. So I think this is such a great initiative and I thought I've been wanting to do this challenge for a while because ever since I counted all the items in my closet um, and realized that I have fewer secondhand items than I thought, I thought this would be a really good challenge. So I'm um, gonna go over my outfit today. I'm just off to a quick appointment and to run a couple of errands and then later in the evening, oh there's Apollo, we have a birthday party for my nephew. It's going to be outside so that way we can stay socially distanced. So I'm gonna change for that and I'm still gonna try and do my secondhand outfit there um, but yeah I'm gonna give this a try. So I don't know if jewelry counts, but I figured I would do my best. I have my two vintage rings. I have these two hoops, also another very generous gift from um, my mom on my Nona's behalf on her side. And the necklace as well is my Nona. Oh my goodness, look at this. I am practically uh, my Nona today. <laughs> and I like wearing it over a crew neck sweater in particular because it it elongates my neck a little bit. I find a long necklace can really help in terms of just making sweaters like this a little bit more flattering. A Valentino sweater that I found at one of my favorite consignment stores here where I live called Trove Fashion. I honestly cannot remember <laughs> where, uh, like which vintage market I acquired this belt at. I found these this summer. I am so, so happy. Actually, also from Trove. And yes, this outfit could look a little bit weather confused, um, heavy on top, very light on bottom, but I'm gonna balance it out with these loafers. So they add a little bit of weight. Oh, and of course these I found secondhand. I almost died when I found these. They are Russell and Bromley. I found them at a vintage store, but I don't think they are vintage. They still have this style, but in black online. Um, Oh gosh, it was just, they were just so, so good. I know I definitely don't have a secondhand purse that would work for this. Just gonna use my trusty backpack slash um, shoulder bag. I just love this thing. It's great for errands because I can wear it both ways, like depending on what I need to do. Ooh, that's a bit bright, isn't it? I'm dressed probably like it's not summer. Um, for tonight's party, I thought I would try this sweater dress that I found on ThreadUp uh, maybe about a year and a half ago now um, when I did my first collab with them. I just thought it would be so versatile, but I haven't worn it as much. But this challenge has forced me to take it out and wear it, and I'm actually really happy about it. It's not denim, which is something that I always fall back on. I've added my big chunky sweater, which was secondhand, from a local consignment boutique uh, which has since closed but what I've done is I've just taken an elastic can you see this I've taken an elastic and I've just secured it it was a bit too thick for the belt hack it's a bit more flattering this way um, rather than having the sweater end like shapelessly right over here and with this I'm just gonna wear my sneakers I don't know if I'm gonna be able to maintain a fully secondhand look every time um, I have to say these are not secondhand. Uh, I could have gone way more dressy uh, and worn these because these are secondhand. And while they are fabulous, this is like a, a nine year old's birthday party. Like it's a family gathering. I don't want to get too, too dressed up. Um, so I'm going to go with these. Also, I've had a bit of like a. Um, I don't know, today I'm not like 100%, not feeling 100,000%, so you know you just wanna wear something a bit more cozy and comforting, so that's what I'm gonna do with these. Okay, day three, we are on our way to Montreal to another nine-year-old's birthday party. This time it's my godson. <laughs> 
So I have dressed super casually. You can hear all the commotion downstairs. I apologize. Um, the only secondhand denim that I own are these, which were given to me by my girlfriend. And I wanted to wear something comfortable because it's gonna be outside. Sometimes they break out water guns, so I don't wanna wear anything too precious. Um, and then my <laughs> thrifted Comme des Garçons tee. And I'm gonna add just a cardigan and my faux leather moto jacket, which are not secondhand, but this is how loud my family is, excuse me. The Vejas, again, are not secondhand. Neither are these sunnies. Day, I wanna say four, but I think it's three. I never remember with these kinds of videos. I'll put the days down here somewhere. But anyway, uh, today's adventure. Uh, I'm very nervous. I am going scooting. <laughs> Not like a Vespa scooter, but those little electric scooters. I don't know if those have become popular in your city, but a girlfriend of mine who is a blogger also um, is doing a collaboration with one of these little electric scooter companies. Um, so we're gonna do that today. It's a beautiful warm day, so I'm excited to see my friends because this is a really nice way for me to see them while also being outside and social distancing, but I am also like, I'm just not good with things on two wheels. I fall off bikes regularly. So I am, I'm actually so nervous. So this is a Current Elliott romper that I found in Boston. And I want to say like a second time around or one of those really great US chains in Canada. We don't have them here yet. Again, I'm going to be wearing my sneakers with it. Uh, a helmet. This one was actually gifted to us. Uh, as part of this thing. It's a very eco-friendly way to get around the city, you know, if you're not like completely petrified. Also, I have a tiny head, so these things never actually really fit me. I mean, look at this. Anyway, still gonna wear it because I, I am so concerned for my safety. My backpack, I can definitely say that, you know, here I was thinking and priding myself always on having so much second hand in my closet, and here I am being schooled by my own closet. Um, letting me know that I don't have as many second-hand items as I thought. Well, hello! Today is a Monday. In fact, it's a holiday Monday where I am. And uh, I have a couple of clients to see. I do freelance wardrobe styling, and I do it for commercial projects, not individuals or personal styling. I, I stopped doing that a couple of years ago. So um, in this case, it's a national cooking show, actually, so I get to dress the chef, which is a lot of fun. I have to go visit them, um, they're in production right now, and I also have to see a client for a writing client that I do, so I do wardrobe styling and freelance writing to supplement my income, because unfortunately I can't do content creation quite full-time yet. I would love to get there sometime soon. Anyway, uh, without relying on sponsorship, that's why it's taking me so long. Anyway, um, so that's what I have to do today. It's kind of a chilly day and I'm only like 50-50 wearing secondhand today. My leather pants that I got on ThreadUp, but this sweater is quite old from Club Monaco. It is not secondhand. I do have a black secondhand sweater that is similar, but it's a little bit looser and more relaxed and I find because these don't fit me like super tight, like there's still a little bit of give to them, I didn't want to have two items that looked a little bit loose and relaxed. I feel like that can look overall too sloppy. I wanted something a little bit tapered. I have to look professional today. Um, so I thought something a little bit more fitted and polished on top would work. For footwear though, I am winning secondhand. I've got my awesome, I don't know what this is. It is a faux lizard of some sort. Um, I can't believe I found these secondhand. I found them for only $39. Um, and these earrings, they're back. Today's the first day where besides going for my run, I do not have any appointments or dates or anything like that. Uh, I love these days. I've realized, I think, that a lot of my secondhand items are a little bit more whimsical or have a little bit more personality. I don't tend to shop for, uh, like, loungewear or athletic wear or just solid basics secondhand. So that was a really interesting shopping habit about myself that I discovered by doing this challenge. Um, that being said, today's outfit is only 
two-thirds secondhand. I've done my best. This top was a great find from Beacon's Closet in Williamsburg ages ago. I would say at least 10 or 11 years ago. These cashmere wool joggers are definitely not secondhand, um, but I have had them for about five years. Um, I absolutely love them. They're from a great Canadian company. And the other piece of today's outfit that is secondhand are my slippers. I paid maybe, I want to say like $70 US. So in Canadian money, that's like $5,000. I'm just kidding. It, the exchange isn't that horrible, but it's that's pretty expensive for a secondhand purchase, I think. However, I had been looking for a really long time for secondhand Ugg slippers exactly like this, and I really was having trouble finding them. And these were new in the box. I'm happy to pay that amount when I get exactly what I'm looking for and it's still secondhand. Um, so for me, they were worth it. I'm about to make myself a cup of tea and uh, get started. Well, hello. It's day seven, I believe, if I'm keeping track correctly. As you can see, I'm wearing my leather pants again. Sweater, also secondhand. This was a consignment store find oof, maybe five years ago. I had originally pulled it for a photo shoot for a musician. We used it in the shoot and then I just, I loved it so much. Um, I just bought it and took it home with me. Um, and I'm so glad because I've been wearing it so often every winter. Um, and for the footwear, actually this is like a complete secondhand look are my amazing Russell and Bromley loafers. They are just as excited as I am. Purse, not secondhand, however, but um, what can you do? I found that I wanted to kind of balance out the cold gray and black tones with the warmer brown tones. So I did that with the bag and the shoes. And I also, that's why I added my watch, my Nord Green, brown strap watch. So my Nord Green watch is not secondhand, um, but my earrings are. These little leaf earrings are vintage. I found them at a vintage market. Today I had coffee with a friend and then I had to run around and do some little errands. <laughs> I bought myself an olive tree, which I hope I can keep alive. sure can't remember who cares I'll figure it out when I'm editing this video but guess where I'm going today this outfit makes no sense for what I'm doing but it's COVID times uh, I'm going to the pet store today <laughs> that is my one and only outing so I thought I would uh, make my outfit make the most of it I bought this sweater and these incredible trousers in the same little trip to our local Salvation Army maybe last year in the spring. These pants are just this incredible, I couldn't believe when I found them. They're wool, they're lined, they're from the 90s, I wanna say. They're, they're Liz Claiborne. Do you, does anyone, my mom used to love Liz Claiborne when I was little. Anyway, but they've got these incredible tailoring details, um, the extra buttons secure. Like, I just, I feel like you don't see these details anymore, even in a very expensive pant. Upon reflecting on this outfit, I definitely did not need these pants. And I think this is one of my biggest weaknesses when it comes to thrifting, is when I find incredible quality items like this that also meet my style aesthetic and lifestyle, even if they're not 100% necessary, I have a hard time not taking them home. Definitely something I have to work on. Um, and in fact, I have to say, these pants, they're very tight. So, um, just around my waist here. So I have to really, I think, test them today and be very honest with myself. Um, I'm gonna try and wear them the whole day to make sure that they're comfortable enough and that I actually will be able to get a whole day's wear out of them. Um, because if not, they really should be going to someone else. Oh, footwear, my incredible uh, secondhand loafers, which you've seen already, my signet ring, this herringbone necklace, which I also found at Value Village. It just elongates the neckline here a little bit, adds to that ladylike vibe that I guess I'm going for today. I do not have a pair of 
secondhand pearl earrings, but these are like, I've had them since I was 12. So maybe because I've had something that long, it's like secondhand from myself. Maybe that's cheating. And I think that also concludes this week of secondhand September challenge. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you liked this kind of format of casual video that also includes probably some very boring stories. I apologize if you're still here. Um, and that's it. So give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, hit subscribe if you haven't already, and I will be back with another slow fashion video. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Ciao!